I am honored to address the Federation on my first World Food Day as Minister with Responsibility for Agriculture, Fisheries, Marine Resources and Cooperatives. As we join with the other 193 countries of the United Nations to celebrate World Food Day on October 16th on the this year's theme, Leave No One Behind. I wish to reiterate the importance of the agri-food systems in our Federation as it relates to food and nutrition security. My ministry is collaborating with various farmer groups and cooperatives to ensure that support is provided and that no one is left behind. The purpose for celebrating World Food Day is to promote and encourage food security across the world in a time of crisis. The Food and Agriculture Organization has taken an important initiative to achieve this mandate. The World Food Day campaign helps with the dissemination of information about the importance of effective agricultural production systems and policies which the government will implement to ensure that there is safer and nutritious food for everyone. The Food and Agriculture Organization puts at the center of its strategic framework four pillars for the transformation of agri-food systems, namely better production, better nutrition, a better environment, and a better life. The Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Marine Resources, and Cooperatives is well aligned as our agricultural transformation and growth strategy for the period 2022 to 2031 also covers these four pillars. Despite the challenges that many countries face during the COVID-19 pandemic, the agricultural community has increased tremendously, and this is a clear sign of the resilience and important role the sector plays in our communities. Food security is historically more important than ever before, as we witness increases in fuel prices and supply chain challenges due to the ongoing conflict and climate change. These changes must be recognized when building sustainable food systems in our respective countries. For a more specific response to the path of food security and food safety in St. Kitts and Nevis, we have committed to the 25 by 25 agenda, which will see major food import reductions. This means greater earnings for our people, which translates to better livelihoods. As Minister, I am excited to announce our plans to convert rain-fed farms to timely irrigated fields by the construction of additional water catchment systems. We are also endeavoring to increase the number of functional greenhouses nationally through the construction of what we have dubbed greenhouse villages. We are also proud of our plans in the area of livestock, where we will improve protection and housing systems for animals. Indeed, we can never forget our most critical resource, our people, and as such, we will continue training staff to improve technical support that will better serve our fishers, farmers, and cooperative groups. Ultimately, this will improve overall production and ensure that the technical support provided is grounded in science with proven results. Collectively, we are working together to harness skills and resources from around the world as we partner with international, regional, and local stakeholders, such as the Taiwan Technical Mission, Inter-American Institute for Cooperation and Agriculture, Caribbean Agricultural Research and Development Institute, Food and Agricultural Organization, Japan Internal Cooperation Agency, and other regional partners as we build resilient agri-food systems. It is time to do something different, and our policies will reflect our new thrusts as we implement activities that are guided by a new strategic plan for the rise of a sector that our country has long been awaiting. Let us be reminded on this World Food Day of the substantial contribution of our farmers, fishers, agro-processors, and cooperative groups, and their importance on our path to food and nutrition security. There is a greater need to accelerate our efforts to ensure we strive for a future where no one is left behind and where everyone has access to healthy and affordable food. In closing, as we reflect on this year's theme, I reiterate our government's commitment to ensure that no farmer, no fisher, no cooperative, and no citizen will be left behind. Food and nutrition security will be a priority in our nation's economic development agenda.